Jazz here, your blind OT from the Insight for Blind channel on YouTube. And I'm here today to show you how to create a complete system for tagging, consuming, replacing, and re-tagging your consumables. So you'll understand how Way Around can integrate with other adaptive tools and techniques to help you find whatever you need in the kitchen. I call this having a 360 degree plan for independence, and you can do it with any degree of vision loss. Let's get started. You can have the most organized pantry and refrigerator in the world using the techniques I showed you in previous videos. But if you don't have a system in place to maintain it, what's the point? You need a 360 degree plan to be truly independent. This means you need to know your options for replacing and re-tagging your grocery items. Here are a few ideas to get started. It's important to have a list. It doesn't matter how you do it. You could create it in Word, print it out in large print if you have low vision. You could use the Notes app on your phone, or there are grocery list apps out there you could use. It really doesn't matter. The important thing is that you put thought into what you need before you go to the store. That's what's gonna make it quicker and more efficient. Now, I'm gonna show you my favorite way of doing a grocery list, and that is to actually send myself an email. So I have my email open here. I've got the list. Mayo, peanut butter, jelly. I'm going to send it to myself. Or blind at gmail .com outlook. So now, magically, it's in my smartphone. Jazz, grocery list, three, third, selected. All I have to do is Mayo. open it up. Actions available. Peanut butter, jelly, relish. And I'm good Actions to go. Available. It's just that easy. Now, in previous videos, I had um, suggested that you have a certain spot where you keep all of your weight tags when it's time to replace a product. And so I've got them here. They are the perfect, the perfect thing to get your list started. So I'm going to show you how Way Around makes it really easy. Mail. Act. Way Around. Active. Way Around. If you take out your way link, the way link is designed for reading tag after tag after tag. So when you are ready to start creating your list, all you have to do is hold up your tag. Ground beef. Great. I got ground beef. I know I put that on my list. Next tag. Children's pato bismol. Ooh, that's a really important one. I'm gonna put that one on my wrist. Web Easy peasy. So whether you order your groceries through Instacart or you use shopper assistance at the store or you shop with a family member or friend, having a list with you at the beginning of the process is going to help you at the end when you're at home and you have to identify and re-tag your groceries. But there are a few other things that can help you while you're in the store. So let's go shopping. I'm here at Rouse's Market today so I can show you a few tricks on how you can use your sense of touch to keep track of your groceries while you're shopping so make it easier to tag them when you get home. So thanks Rouse's for supporting the Insight for Blind channel. A lot of products may feel similar, like these boxed goods, but if you pay attention to their size and weight, it can help you tell the difference between them. For example, I have two boxes of cereal here. Now cereal is pretty light, but I always make sure that I get my children's cereal in a bigger box, because they're gonna eat a lot more of it than I do, and so my cereal is gonna be the smaller one. Now these two boxes over here are even smaller, but heavier. I've got some instant pancakes mix here which has a pretty good weight to it and the smallest box is for muffins. All four of these are very distinct from each other. Even jars can feel quite different from each other if you're paying attention. I have here two glass jars that are about the same size, but I can clearly tell the difference between them. The pickle relish in my left hand is in a nice smooth jar with a cap that is ridged around the edges, which makes it nice and tactual. The jelly jar ha actually has branding that is raised, like a raised signature, at the top of the glass of the jar. And then when you touch the lid, it's smaller and nice and smooth around the edges. 
I have here a couple of plastic jars that are very, very similar, but again, if you're paying attention, you can clearly tell the difference. Mayonnaise and peanut butter. Your peanut butter jar is always gonna have a wider mouth, so the cap is gonna be a lot bigger than the mayo, which is gonna have a smaller opening at the top. Cans have unique textures as well. Of course, you can get them in different sizes, but nowadays you can also often feel the difference from the top of the can. Some old-fashioned traditional ones are flat, but the newer ones actually have pop tops. If you have a bunch of cans, though, that feel the same and you can't tell the difference from the top, you can create your own tactual method of identifying them. For example, I have two different soups here. For one of them, I took the wrapper and folded it back a little bit. So when I feel that when I get home, I'll know exactly which soup it is. If I need a little more help with tactual marking, I like to travel with some rubber bands to the grocery store because I can pop a band around a can and then I'll know exactly what I have when I get home. If creating your own tactual markings isn't quite enough to remember what you have, weight tags can really come in handy. I like to keep a few on rubber bands around my wrist because then you can actually mark the item before you put it in the basket. So I've got several cans here that I had folded back to indicate it was a certain type of soup. Now I've got my weight tag that has the description on it. I put it on this one can and I know that all the cans that feel like this with the wrapper folded back are all going to be the same when I get home. Way Around can make it easy for you to categorize your frozen dinners if you bring a larger band and different clips like a way clip and an overhaul button. I have here two uh, frozen dinners that are the same and they're banded together so I know that they're the same with a, a way clip. And over here, I've got two different lean cuisines that are banded together with an oval hole button. I like to put a lot of details on my way tag so I have the important information that I need when I want it. Here's an example. Here's a tag I brought from home. Red button, ready to, ready to scan. Ground beef, way round, settings, way cloud, <laughs> setting, ground beef. Okay, so it's ground beef. Purchase date. October 1st, 2020. It's going to give me important dates. 1.5 pounds. It tells me the weight of the meat. So, top directions. Four and of course, directions for cooking. Cook That's a lot of information. Flip patties and then cook for another three minutes. So I could take this highly detailed tag and pop it onto a new container of meat, but it's risky when you start bringing all of your good detail tags out in public. So, Another option would be to create a temporary tag while you're at the store with all of the bare minimum information you need. So then when you go home, then you can update your good detailed tags. Let me show you how quick and easy it can be. So all I have to do is create click button. create. Create way tag, heading level one. Create way tag, heading level, way click, script, enter the text you want written to the way tag, multi-line text field. And Definitive. I'm going to record the, the bare minimum tag. info I need. 1.3 pounds ground meat used by October 15th. Inserted 1.3 pounds ground meat used by October 15th. Oh, toolbar, done, button, Hit done. done. Multi, right, button, right, right, button, to right, button. R alert, ready to scan. Hit right. Success, way tag written. And there we go. Now I can just take this tag, put it around the meat, and keep shopping. Expiration dates are a great reason for using temporary tags while you're at the store. You know, most stores do have some type of shopper assistance program, so you can have someone with a set of eyes to help you find your groceries and get important information like expiration dates off of your dairy and your meat products. So when you get home, then you'll have those important details you need to create your way tags. Lastly, if you have just a few important items that you absolutely don't want to forget, and it's not something you get often, you can actually create weight tags ahead of time before you come to the store, put them on a rubber band, and put the band around your wrist as a reminder. Then when you're in the store, use your Way Around app to read them. Red button. And you're sure not Red. to forget. Ready to scan. Children's Pantobismal. See how easy? 
If you follow these simple tips, you should be able to restock your kitchen while maintaining your organizational systems for finding what you need, like I showed you in previous videos for tagging your pantry and refrigerator items. However, if you get home from the grocery and you find that there are still a couple of items that you're not sure what they are because they feel the same, you need to know your options for accessing product labels. In my most recent video on the Insight for Blind channel, I describe a multitude of devices and smartphone apps that can help you access that product label information. So if you click in the link below in the description, you can learn all about Alexa, OrCam, Ira, and other smartphone apps that can work with WayAround to create a fully accessible 360 degree plan for independence. So now you know your way around to replace and re-tag all of your items for your refrigerator and your pantry. You can be independent to manage your own groceries. All you need is to be prepared with a list, have some adaptive strategies in place, of course, have a little extra technology for support, and have your favorite way tags on hand. Remember, you can put as little or as much information on your way tags as you want. That's the beauty of way around. Before I go, I want to give one more shout out and thanks to Rouse's. Thanks for letting me come and film today. To place an order for more way tags, go to wayaround.com. And subscribe to Way Around's channel on YouTube for endless ideas on how to tag everything in your world. And don't forget to subscribe to the Insight for Blind channel on YouTube where I give you the tips, tools, and techniques for living your best life with low vision or no vision. I'm here to help you learn your way around with vision loss. So no worries, you got this. See you next time.